Okay, it is Sunday. November something, I don't know. 12? I gotta be close. I'm taking one of those rare and unusual rides to uh, Gloucester. I'm gonna go help unload the fridge from a big freight liner. My uh, daughter's last week driving the old big rig. Kind of sad to see her stop doing that in a way, but yet very glad because she'll be just be home. I just she worked hard to get all those skills, you know. So much going on. Traffic left of you, traffic right. People are parked so close to the road you don't know if they're backing out or what, but man, you better be aware. That's all I can say. Go ahead and relax one time and forget. I guess I forgot my neck thingy. I didn't need it. Or do I have it on and just can't find it? It's so hard to tell. Yeah, it's not too big a deal. You don't have warm tires, so don't be breaking the speed limits going around these uh, clover leaves. It would not be a happy day. You might be down yonder fishing there. High tide, not a good time. But maybe it is back here in these uh, creek arms. I don't know how it works. Okay. Traffic not too bad. You call this not too bad. I really depends upon what country you're coming from, right? <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful out here. I thought it was gonna be icy cold, but it's pretty damn nice. So I'm all dressed up just in case. Wow, that was a bad time for him to switch a lane, but I say it's none of my business, but it is. I'm out here on the road with him. It's all my business, really. Just can't, uh, you know, control it. A bumpity bump, 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 three way. Yeah. Might just be better to stay on the freeway with all the church goers and people going to lunch and going on that smaller road over there on 17. There I go thinking again. Oh, I hate being in this lane. But I don't want to be in the uh, party lane over on the left, you know. Popo man probably get his eye on that lane a lot more than where I'm at. Here I'm just going with the flow of the traffic. Kind of 75 and a 65. 70. Man, put a, put a gorilla grip on my whew, on my grips here. And the traffic thick and heavy right now. It's like in a thick area right now. There's nothing up ahead, but got cars all around me right here. Constantly scanning. Somebody new coming up behind you. On your left side, on your right side, in front of you. Got a lot of ducks on his uh, dash. A dash ducking. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, no signals. Nobody let nobody know nothing.
feet traps up here all over, so look at a nice fall colors coming out. And it's just gonna ride right up on my ass, like be tight like a car or something. Hit the brakes a few times, it'll easily let off. That's cool. Oh, next exit. We'll be exiting. Coming up. We're coming around that corner. Coming around that bend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to be a tailgater hard. Just mean people wouldn't do or say what they would. You gotta have your heart changed, man. I'm thinking about an old comment somebody gave me. Asked me, you didn't even check on the guy. The one that almost ran me over as a drunk driver last Fourth of July up here. And uh, yeah, I. I set the situation the best I could. When I rode by, saw they were both sitting up. He had the uh, coherence to pull over and get off to the side of the road. After falling asleep, swerving all through the medium, yeah. And uh, we had two other cars stop. Gonna go check on them. Calling them, calling the police. I heard the sirens. I stopped up the road just a little ways. Gather my gather my wits and my bearings. So yeah, you know. Lady called me a piece of shit for keeping on going and not checking on them. You know, I get it. I, I, I can't be too upset. But it was mostly fine. He didn't kill nobody. What am I going to do on the motorcycle he takes off again? Because he doesn't want to get busted by the cops. And I know he's drunk and almost ran over me earlier, you know, so. And I've been hit before by a drunk driver. I'm not all that excited, you know, to sign up and deal with, you know, people who make a decision to drink and drive on the road. The, uh, Authorities got a hold of the video clip I put and asked me if they could use it. I'd send it to them. I said, sure. I send it to them. And uh, she gets back with me and lets me know that he was charged with a, uh, a DUI. Well, last night this bridge was stuck open. I don't know what there you got going on up here. Is it, is it part of being stuck open and they're out here working on this thing get it to function correctly <laughs> but being on top of it yeah that's the greatest feeling get a potato over here in Gloucester Virginia you're at the Virginia Motor Bomb Channel, so yeah, we're gonna be in Virginia today. <laughs> I don't leave Virginia too often. That's a pretty beautiful place. Whew. 
polar outers, look out. Not like they old. I don't know. Have that Chevelli sh shaped body. Cutlassy. Cutlass. Or something. GPX, I don't know what it says. It doesn't look like no four, but it looks beautiful. Left the tailgater and got around the slow pole. Just to get around a couple more, but that's okay. We ain't trying to get tickets today. Uh, barely. Doing the speed limit. We'll see a slow drag race up here. The guy won't be able to catch up to this old tractor. Who would even want to take a project like that on?